my YouTube friends, this is Felice from One Unique Life here to talk about the computed tomography exam. So you're here for one of two reasons. You finished all of your competencies and you're getting ready to take your board exam. Yay! I'm so proud of you, you did it. Um, or you failed your board exam and you're looking for hope and some pointers to pass. Listen, I'm going to do what I can to make sure you get through this because it's not too hard. You just have to pace yourself, breathe, and it will be okay. So I'm going to talk about the board exam. Um, so just kind of in a nutshell, um, you are required to have a certain amount of exams done or competencies, as they'll say, before they'll allow you to sit for your board exam. So much like your x-ray exam, you had to have so many CTs of the chest. You had to have so many CTs of the head, so many CTs of this, so many like uh, um, QA competencies and such things like that. So that's why it's important that when you start your CT program, you keep a log of what you're doing because your manager or direct uh, supervisor will have to sign off to prove that you actually um, have competencies or you uh, are competent in those specific exams. So um, if most of you have, just before I go into the nitty gritty about what I use to pass the CT board exam, um, much like the x-ray exam, I don't, know, I don't know how much it is, but I know I paid $200 initially to take the exam. So for this exam, you get about four, four and a half hours to complete the exam. Make sure you have two forms of ID with you at the testing site. With the pandemic going on, I'm not sure if they even offer the testing site as an option. So when I had to complete the CQR requirements, that's a whole other ball game. I can make a video if you all would like to. Just if you want me to make a video about anything, just drop it down there. However, you I took it here like in our office and I had to take my computer, walk around, show them that I had no printer, I had no cell phone, there could be no talking, there could be no water or anything, but it allowed me to take it from the comfort of my own home. So that might help you a little bit to be more relaxed. So you'll have that proctor who will be looking at you the entire time, but you're in your, your own space. So that might be a little bit better. I'm not sure if they offer that for the actual exams, but I, I, I presume that they do. Um, one thing about the current exams is much like your x-ray boards, if you have taken them, you'll have like a preliminary score that will pop up as soon as you hit submit. You're going to be nervous. You're going to be shaking. Some people are going to be sweating for those over, you know, active sweat glands. <laughs> but you'll know because back in the day they used to have to wait like two weeks or whatever they said if you got a small envelope that means nah you didn't do so well if you got a big envelope that means yeah you did well so that waiting period has been basically eliminated they say if your score was it, you have to have a 75 or better to pass so let's say if you got a 74 bummer my professor told me that don't um don't count yourself out because there could be an error or whatever and they could bump it up a, a point. I don't know if it's ever happened, but she said if that is the case, then great. And it can also go the other way. If they give you a 75, just wait till you get that official letter. But that kind of gives you an idea as to if you bombed it, if you passed it. So I will say this. It doesn't matter if you got a 75 or if you got a 95. All these sites want to know is, are you registered? So don't be so hard on yourself. Just pass. Get that 75 because there are a lot of people who are competent out in that field. But when you go to take tests, there's anxiety. So don't be so hard on yourself. So again, this is in uh, high, high demand. I love this field. And, you know, I think that it's, uh, you know, awesome. So much like x-ray, make sure that you have a dedicated study schedule. I find this to be important because you don't want to overstudy. And I am looking at some notes here. When I initially took my x-ray boards, I studied way too much to the point where I was like, no good. And I thought that was to my benefit. If I woke up and studied all through and took maybe a lunch break and got back to studying, it would be to my benefit. But at that point, I started getting sloppy. I started getting tired. Like, I already know that. Not really... Uh, focusing in on every aspect of the exam so it 
is very possible to overstudy, trust me. So I noticed again, like when I overstudy, I just was skimpy over my efforts and I had to relearn some material and I just don't want you all to fall into this pit hole. It's just not worth it. So just to kind of give you an example of what I did as far as how I um, planned out my study time. So on the ARRT.org uh, website, they have a link that lays out the specific content that they are testing you on. Listen, go to that website, print that content sheet out. It's a study guide. They're giving you a study guide. They're saying, listen, I'm going to test you on this. Know this because I can ask you, you know, about a CT of the head. Of course, yes, they're going to ask you about that. But they will tell you what it is that you need to know and that what they're going to test you on. So there should really be no surprises. So um, because of the copyright uh, reasons, I couldn't show you all the actual content, but I can read it to you. So on the ARRT.org website, um, you're going to have 22 questions on patient care. You're going to have 20 questions on safety, 55 questions on image production, and 68 questions on procedures. So I'll provide that link on the actual content in the box below. Make sure you go by that. This is a gem. This is what you need to make sure that you pass. So they are telling you, study this. So it takes the guesswork out of it. Um, I don't know, it, it, and I think it has changed when I looked at it. They would specifically share how many specific questions there would be on a specific topic. But they have since reformatted that. I don't even have that copy um, anymore because I did print everything out. I may still have some study material. But if you, if you have any questions, just reach out because I provide my email address to you. So I would recommend that you take each category and uh, spend a preset amount of time combing through that material, laying out that content specific form and just say, this is what I'm going to study in patient care. Like maybe just dedicate an entire week to patient care. And within that patient care subsetting, there are subcategories that you're going to have to know and familiarize yourself with. So just do that. Don't deviate from that content because you might be wasting your time. Don't study something that it's not going to be on there. It just doesn't make sense. So as you go through each item, what I did, I would check, uh, put place a check mark beside it. So I made note cards and with the material as well. But mostly from the book that I'm going to share with you is a game changer. Oh, I love this book. In fact, my coworker is still using this book. And I took my boards in... 2012 I took them in 2012 so she's using that same version of the book for her boards and um, a couple people prior to her have used that and they said it's amazing so it's a game changer to passing this number two study material does matter it matters so I don't want you to to waste your time on a material that I didn't find helpful and it didn't make a difference with me passing. You have somebody that took the board, who passed the board with flying colors. Listen to me. Don't waste your time on some of this material. Like they have like secrets to uh, how to pass a CT test. There's no secret in that. Stop, guys. Really help these people out. And that's why I'm here. So my job providing me this big binder that gave a guarantee to pass for those that use that material. And... Um, my job was requiring us to take the exam at that time so they gave everybody that exam um, a few of my co-workers said it was horrible and I believe that binder was like $250 like I don't want you don't do that just don't do that so I took their advice and I look for other highly rated materials and so my number one book recommendation is Bing Mosby Exam Review for Computed Tomography by Daniel DeMille. Get this book today. I don't know if they're going to take it off the shelf. I don't know if Daniel going to be like, listen, I don't want to sell this book anymore. Just take it off. Buy it today. And if I had my copy, the first person that would email me, I would just give it to you. But again, my coworkers all over that. 
I'll provide the link for this book. I believe this is the actual updated version. This book, listen, was literally the most valuable study material that I used. And I used a couple of different sources. They provide some exams that will help you pass. The questions they ask you may not be verbatim on the test, but they touch the things that are going to be on the test. So they use that same content sp uh, specification form that we mentioned to formulate their um, their material in this book. So from this book, I made note cards with the exam questions and I study them intently like, okay, just, just do it. Your eyes gonna get big, you're gonna just do it, okay? <laughs> So in the previous versions, I think that you might be able to buy them. I'm not sure. They did include an online version of the test um, with a timer. Listen, this is a must have. Trust me. OK, so in the book, the layout, as I said um, earlier, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, is, is laid out as they have published on the ARRT.org website. So they, this book will not waste your time and talking about secrets to this. No, it's no secret. Go get the book. Um, so I did find this exam to be way easier than the radiology exam, way easier. Trust me, no LAO, RAO, none of that, okay? So don't overthink this thing. You can do it. If you fail, you know, look at your weaknesses and then try. Um, you can do this, but you have to get that book. Um, that really is the main resource of um i did use the book that my co-workers use but i after a while i was like why am i wasting my time this is if they said it's horrible i'm just gonna hone in on this and then there are some um, online resources i believe that you can also use but i just wanted to lay it out to you that you have to get that book um so if you haven't already hit the bell here subscribe because i'm going to come out with some more videos to help you out in your career uh journey feel free to like share and subscribe if you have any questions or if you want me to talk about anything leave your comments down below and i'll make sure i try my best to approach it thank you all have a good one good luck bye